trip to the thrift. Sick Mate season two continues with an exciting episode of Trip to the Thrift. I think this is episode 2105, but exciting news. I did manage to capture some footage of me at the thrift stores at the charity shops, so it's as if you were there. Even though today's pickups weren't exactly amazing, I would consider this a successful haul. Quick backstory, I do like to thrift two to three times a week, and today I hit up three different towns, which is roughly a combined total of around 15 charity shops, just for anyone who wants to know how many I can hit up in a day. So today I woke up the earliest I have ever gotten up, which is nine o'clock in the morning. Woke up, went to the charity shops and got a lot of Tesco bags. It's like every charity shop wanted to get rid of these bags, which is fine by me. I need some new bin liners. So before we jump into this episode of Trip to the Thrift, if you're new to the channel or if you like what I'm doing here, then please press that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of when I upload a new video, then press the little bell as well. It is massively appreciated and it's a way to support me for free. So enough of this madness. Let's just jump into the thrift items. Let's see what we have in the bag. Boom. Best Spider-Man film of all time, Fight Me. So this is actually the first item that I found today. It's a Spider-Man free memorabilia t-shirt. 2007, big man, Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man. I just had to get this t-shirt. I mean, look at it. It's got a Spider-Man symbol on it, but it's not just like any Spider-Man t-shirt. Spider-Man 3, out now on DVD. But it's a banging t-shirt. If you want a quick close up, here it is. Spider-Man 3, out now on DVD. It's a really nice blast from the past, and let's jump into the next one. Next up, we have this distressed band t-shirt. I have no idea what this is. Pam, you're gonna make me Google this, aren't you? Boom, okay, I am educated. So this is some band merch from Ramstein. It's a German metal band. I knew I recognized the font of this band logo. Vetmon did a Ramstein hoodie back when they were heavily into that whole metal aesthetic. So now that we're educated and we know our sources, let's have a quick close up of the t-shirt. It's distressed in places. I can see it on the back here. It's got some distressing on the front. It's got some rips. And on the bottom there, you can see you've got a little thing hanging off just to show everyone how truly metal you are. To be honest with you, I absolutely love the graphic at the front and the Ramstein logo. I'm not gonna say like I'm a big massive fan and start wearing it, but it does look like a really nice piece though, doesn't it? A very mad shirt indeed. So hold tight this shirt. Moving on to the next one. I'm not even gonna bother too much with this one. It's a standard Nike t-shirt, Stamford. 1891 Cardinal, just a nice casual t-shirt, not really much to say. Do you remember when Academy font t-shirts were a massive trend? Quick close up, there it is. That's basically the entire shirt. So moving on to our second bag of the day, we have this. Let me figure out what this is. Hold tight, this Nike jacket. More blues than blues clues. A very nice pullover jacket. Quarter zip up so the top half of your torso can breathe. Stripe in the middle, breaking up the windbreaker a little bit. A hoodie to keep you dry from the elements. A quick close closer look of the jacket. It's not really that exciting to look at, but it's here. Let's just move on to the next one. Continuing the blue jacket trend, we have this vintage Puma zip up. That is a really old Puma logo in the center there. I don't think you can really see it. Can I give you a close up? No, it is going into darkness, madness. I kind of like the multi-tonal panels. You've got the light blue, the dark blue, and the black. Got a very 80s vibe to it. Hold tight, the Puma pullover. Lastly for this bag, we have a vintage Tommy Hilfiger polo t-shirt. You've got the vintage Tommy label on the inside there. You've got the tiny as Tommy flag there. A size extra large as well, so it's baggy boys for life. It's great. That's all there is to say about it. This is low-key a madness. Moving on to the next bag. This one contains my favorite items. Firstly, we have this vintage Ralph Lauren polo granddad jumper, I guess you could call it. It's one of them super itchy ones as well. Like my arm at the moment itches like hell. Polo Ralph Lauren label in the middle there because there is no clear indication that this is a Ralph Lauren, which is absolutely fine. Subtle flex. Nice little patterns. This would look great on Christmas. Your nan did an excellent job on this jumper. It's got squiggly lines, it's got dots, it's got everything that you would want in a granddad jumper. Front of the jumper looking exactly the same as the back of the jumper. What you see is exactly what you get, so hold tight this jumper. Next, we have another vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Vintage flag in the middle there. There's a lot of blue items today, wouldn't you say? This one's a size large, but it fits a little bit bigger. So, it, you know, it's like boxy boys for life. And here it is in all of its glory. Now, moving on to my favorite sweatshirt of the day, this Nike sweatshirt. It's a size small, which I'm absolutely gutted about because I can't keep it. Or can I? I mean, it's not bad, but it just doesn't feel right. No. Sad times, sad. 
So the reason why I like this so much is because the swoosh in the middle here isn't printed, it's embroidered. So that's a really nice touch. I like embroidered stuff when it comes to sweatshirts, especially sports sweatshirts. I think it just gives it a little bit of detail, a little bit of finesse. It's a little bit faded as you would expect from a black jumper. Again, a quick close up, that is all there is to show. Simple, effective, it's a banging sweatshirt. And the last Tesco bag of the day. It only contains two items, but the first item is quite colourful. I like it a lot. It's a Vans jacket in a size medium. Look how busy this jacket is. I'll try it on for you quickly. Ooh, it's got a very skinny fit to it. But you've got some nice artwork on the front here. You've got the flowers. It's very floral, but like graffiti floral. Fam, this screams 2012. You've got a repeat pattern on the back there. They say this is a size medium, but it feels like a small or extra small even. It might even be a lady size, I'm not entirely sure. Here is a closer look of the front of the jacket. You've got the Vans badge and all of these flowers and crazy little patterns. Absolute madness. And moving on to the last thrift find of the day. These vintage Reebok bottoms, still with the tag as well. Absolute madness, 34.99, big man. They say they're a size medium but come on it's a size medium for flipping giants look at that look that never ends yeah i thought i could bust these but they look like parachute pants reebok branding at the bottom there you've got the nice little cuffs with the zips just in case you want to free the ankles it's just a madness for a pair of bottoms i mean just like just look at that branding alone it's almost worth it how come i buy stuff that i cannot wear slightly salty about it but it's fine fam i pass the savings on to you so hold tight those trousers so those were all the clothes that I managed to pick up today but wait there's more over the Christmas holidays I managed to get a lot of thrifting done I've got about four weeks worth of thrifts and let me show you the bag for that I'll give you a quick little lightning round vintage Mickey Mouse bum bag Oh shit. Vintage Yves Saint Laurent polo. A vintage Reebok USA t-shirt. A vintage Adidas Ohio Valley Conference t-shirt. Ombro t-shirt. Team USA Athens t-shirt. Some Ralph Lauren polo. Some Levi's t-shirt. A hard rock calf t-shirt. Nike t-shirt. Another Nike t-shirt. Yet another Nike t-shirt. A super duper massive green Donne International t-shirt. Cypress memorabilia. A t-shirt with dolphins on it. A Russell Athletics rugby shirt. The Smith jumper, a Lacoste top, another Yves Saint Laurent, a Chaps, another Reebok item with a tag on it still. These actually might be the matching bottoms, but this is a size large and this is absolutely mad. Nice zip up. Lecoq sportive sweatshirt, a sick off vintage Nike sweater, vintage Alessi, nice Nike sweatshirt, some Prada jacket, St. Michael's jumper, and the creme de la creme of my latest thrifts, this vintage Helly Hansen jacket made for sailing, sick off in all of its glory, insulated to the max. This is an absolute bowler jacket. Just so you can be cozy boys on your private boat. Teddy Hanson is not a low key road man. He owns a boat, but it's calm. He will be forgiven. Hold tight this jacket. <laughs> and that is all of the thrifts that I have to show you today. Like I always say, Thrifting is pretty much a big massive treasure hunt. It's either a hit or miss. I guess they never miss her. That is a dead beam. And with that being said, I have a massive pile of clothes to tidy up now. And for those of you who are wondering what t-shirt I'm wearing, yes, it's Sick Mate merch. It's coming out very, very soon. I've got another t-shirt coming out as well. So there's two t-shirts coming out very, very soon. By the time this video goes out, I would have already have put a big massive chunk of these items on my Depop page, but I will put another big massive chunk plus the items I said I was gonna get rid of on the page very, very soon. If you wanna be the first to know when they drop on the page, then follow me on my Instagram at sickmate and on my Depop page at Rooks and Rivals. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. Again, if you wanna support the channel and what I do here, then please press that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified of when I upload videos, then press the little bell icon as well. Thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Win, 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 is here, but I say that I won't make it to the end of the season. Cause, but them man there don't know that I pitched my tent in the garden of Eden. Eden, I was afraid of sleeping till I realized that I was the nightmare's deacon. Now my spirits are high, my mind is a temple, exercising my demons. Exercising my demons, exercising my demons. Blood and blood, I lay in my legions. Bangkok gang and all of these regions.